Netflix has spent a lot of money to acquire some of the most popular TV shows. Here are the 8 TV shows Netflix paid for a fortune to stream. Seinfeld, 1989-1998 Seinfeld was the most popular show in the United States at the time. And it was a television series developed by Jerry Seinfeld and Larry David that was a masterpiece in humor. While it is popular in its home nation, it has yet to reach a global audience. According to Vanity Fair, Netflix and Sony announced an exclusive five-year $500 million deal in 2019 to acquire Seinfeld streaming rights in order to expand the show's audience and increase overall revenues. Frasier, 1993-2004 While hardly many television spin-offs are successful, Frasier is one of the few sitcoms to achieve the same degree of success as Cheers. Although Netflix did not receive first-hand rights, it was included in a short-term non-exclusive agreement between the OTT platform and CBS. The $200 million deal ensured that the platform could play a variety of CBS network shows, including Frasier. Friends, 1994-2004 Friends has a devoted following that continues to binge-watch the series even after it finished 28 years ago. According to Forbes, Netflix purchased the streaming rights to the show in 2015 for a stunning $100 million, owing to a new generation of fans generated by OTT platforms. It was Netflix's second most-watched show, with claims claiming that viewers watched 32 million minutes of Friends until HBO Max bought the rights in 2020. New Girl, 2011-2018 New Girl is a heartfelt comedic series about a bunch of misfits who band together to manage life and relationships. The show's strengths have been its strong ensemble cast and deeply sympathetic stories. After the show became a sensation on Fox, Netflix agreed to buy the streaming rights for $900,000 per episode. The Blacklist, 2013 to present. Despite the fact that rival streaming services provide shared syndication deals, Netflix has always opted to obtain exclusive streaming rights. According to Deadline, Netflix purchased The Blacklist, a thriller series starring James Spader and Megan Boone, from NBC and Sony in 2014 for a stunning $2 million per episode. The transaction was claimed to be the largest per episode payment in OTT streaming history. Netflix was the sole outlet that aired it first, due to the exclusive first window. The Walking Dead, 2010-2022 The Walking Dead, a zombie drama that has unexpectedly become one of the most popular television shows, has captivated spectators as a thriller narrative. When it came to acquiring it, Netflix went all out striking a multi-year contract of a stunning $1.35 million per episode, totaling $25 million. The Office, 2005-2013 The Office, a beloved mockumentary, is one of the most binge-watched and streamed television shows. The Workplace Premise with Steve Carell's comedic talent and supporting actors like John Krasinski, Jenna Fisher, and Rain Wilson, has made it a hit with audiences all over the world. According to the Wall Street Journal, Netflix paid $100 million for a multi-year streaming rights deal that expires in 2020. It was Netflix's most-watched show in 2020, with viewers watching 52 billion minutes of it. Scrubs, 2001-2010 
Scrubs was a poignant comedy drama with a fantastic cast and smart writing, making it one of the most watched shows on television. Medical dramas are popular with a large portion of the audience. Scrubs was acquired by Netflix for $26 million per year from its original network, NBC. Lost, Jane the Virgin, and Zoo are among the prominent non-Netflix shows available on Netflix. The rivalry to air fan-favorite comedies is slowly heating up in the OTT sector, with multiple television networks debuting their streaming platforms. Netflix continues to bring new and old television episodes to its platform for the audience, making it one of the most popular streaming services. Which of these TV shows is your favorite? Please tell us in the comments section below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos about your favorite celebrities. Thanks for watching.